Hello, everyone. Andy Jacob here with the Dotcom Magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series. Settle back, everybody. Get yourself a nice drink and put your feet up because this is going to be an amazing show. You know, as you know from watching the Dotcom Magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series, we like to bring in the worldwide leaders in their respective spaces. And I've been able to book a remarkable entrepreneur. She is the founder and CEO of Binge Networks. You've probably heard of her. You probably know her name. She is an absolute leader in streaming media. And her name is Bonnie Bruder. And let me tell you, she's built an incredible network. It's called Binge Networks. If you haven't gone on binge yet. I highly recommend it. You might even find the dot-com magazine show on binge networks, as a matter of fact. But she really is starting with her team to dominate the streaming media landscape with all the wonderful new shows she's bringing on every single month, every single week. So many people are talking about it. Without further ado, Bonnie, welcome to the dot-com magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series today. Thank you so much. What an incredible welcome. Hi, guys. Nice to be here. Well, it's so great to have you. You know, when we think about streaming media, you know, we think about a streaming media platform, at least here at Dotcom Magazine and so many people I talk to, Binge Networks always now is in the conversation with so many people that really understand what's happening in streaming. So, Bonnie, let's start by pulling the lens back to 30,000 feet and tell us about Binge Networks. Yeah, so we are a streaming media platform. And if you're not familiar with that term, you are watching one, I guarantee it, like a Hulu or a Netflix or a YouTube. And what we do is we work with creators that, you know, maybe don't have their own Netflix, but want to be a part of the streaming um, media industry. And so this is currently one of the hottest forms of media. It has been for four or five years, but with COVID happening, it put... Uh, you know, rocket ship speed into everybody using and knowing and understanding and consuming streaming media. And so what we do is we work with content creators like .com Magazine, we build them a channel on our platform, and then we syndicate it on a hundred different other smart TV networks um, so that they can get global exposure all around the world. And then in addition to that, we have a team of people that represent that content and take it to other platforms like Tubi, like Zumo, like Pluto, and many, many others to try to get licensing deals for that content. So you as the creator can earn revenues, you know, do what you're great at, which is creating content while we do the rest. And then just this year, um, just this last quarter, actually, we just launched the ability for somebody to build their own streaming network. So if you decide, you know what, I want to have my own network, I want to be the Netflix, then we have the technology solution to do that as well. It's so awesome. And your entrepreneurial story is absolutely remarkable. We want to get into that in a little bit. But one thing that I know you're really you know, excited about at Binge Networks, besides the technology and the platform that really resonates for so many entrepreneurs that want to get on to a streaming platform, you're very excited about your team. And you've been able to develop a, a, and put together a world-class team that works with you at Binge Networks. Let's talk about that. How important is a team as an entrepreneur to not only you at Binge Networks, but to other entrepreneurs in you know, building a business? I mean, team is everything, right? They always say there's no I in team, um, but definitely I need a good team around me to grow and evolve our business. Many times, we, you know, we get um, requests to purchase binge, we get partnership requests and so forth, and I'll, I'll attend a meeting and they ask the question, whether it be a VC or a, a big company, you know, how many, what's your head count? What do you have about 120, 150? We've had three people um, through COVID. We used to have quite a few more, but we decided to scale it back and to be a very lean and mean team. And so we're able to accomplish a lot, a really great deal, because each and every person is an absolute all-star. Um, we have Daniela Z, who's been with us for about five years, and she runs um, basically all of the forward-facing customer communications. So when you have a channel and binge or your own network, she's the point person that you'll be dealing with. Um, she's brilliant. She is a literal genius. She is in Spain right now getting her digital master's or actually just completed that and has still been able to work with the company full time and help us grow and evolve to the level that we have. 
And then we have Allison Jernigan, who is our chief content officer, and she comes from Cinemark. She's been 22 years, I believe, um, in Cinemark, which is one of the largest film and theater companies. And we're very, very lucky to have her leading up our sales charge. And so it's been a remarkable, um, it's been a remarkable journey. But I say, you know, we all do four or five jobs, and that's how we're able to get it, get to where we have been able to in our business. Bonnie, it's such a great story, you know. When we think about it, and for the entrepreneurs watching this show, what you've been been able to accomplish, especially through COVID, with this team that you've built, it's a remarkable small team, but it's very robust, you know, very agile. And then, of course, the technology drives the binge network with the partnerships you've been able to develop with some other technology platform. So for the younger entrepreneurs watching the show, when you're thinking about your business, you don't always need 100 or 1,000 or 1,800 or 2,800 people working. If you have the right people in the right place and have your business driven by technology, if that's sort of the platform that you desire to, to be in, you can accomplish a lot with just super high, motivated and talented people. And of course, Bonnie, you're known for this super energy. You're known all around, you know, the streaming media platforms as this person that has so much energy and so much charisma. And, you know, corporate culture starts at the top and certainly uh, it works at BingeNetworks.tv the same way because it all starts with you and then works within your team so that everybody has a great background. Everybody has a great sort of vibe about them. Everybody has this passion to be the best that they possibly can for your clients. Where does this passion, Bonnie, for (laughs) doing so much good for your clients come from? Where did that start? You know, it's funny that my answers change. So previously, I would just say, I guess it's kind of in my DNA. Um, I grew up, you know, the oldest. I have three younger brothers. I, I lost my mom at a young age. So I just had a lot of responsibility and a lot of different roles that I played. And then also was the overachieving entrepreneur. So, you know, while I was building a business, I was doing Iron Man and all these other things, writing books, you know, all these crazy hobbies. And I think a lot of it comes from, I I spent 20 years of my career working for greats like Tony Robbins, um, Harvey McKay, and really just people that are full tilt working at the highest level possible. So I saw that that was possible for me and for others. And that's really the standard that I hold Um, today. That's been my answer, like as of my life. But today I have two small babies. And so... Um, to just really be the best example for them. I have a six month old and an 18 month old and we, you know, we live a big life. We do, everyone's always like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing it on your own and you're doing like 10 times more than everyone else. But I really want to show them that that's possible in life. Maybe they don't want to, you know, achieve the same things that I wanted to achieve, but it is there and it is possible if you want it. And that's really, you know, how I get the passion, how I live my life. I want to be the best example for them and for my team and for anyone that wants to start a business. I love it, Bonnie. It really resonates for me as a fellow entrepreneur. It makes all the sense in the world. Now, let's break this down a little bit. So we have Binge Networks TV. We have so many people that watch it. You have millions of downloads and millions of active monthly users. So let's break it down for the content creators and then for the people viewing. So let's start with the people viewing. Yeah. For the people that don't really quite get it, where do they find BingeNetworks.tv and how do they download it and start watching all the great content you have? Sure. So if you're on your computer or your phone, you can simply go to BingeNetworks.tv and you can stream tens of thousands of videos, movies, .com magazine, of course, go there first. But um, there's every type of content you can imagine. That's the easiest thing. Any smartphone, just go to the app store, type in Binge Networks, two words, and you can pop it onto your iPhone. Um, If you have a Roku device or an Apple TV, same thing, Binge Networks. And then really almost any other smart TV, I can't imagine one that we're not on. If you have an LG, a Samsung, Sony, um, simply go to the built-in app store and type in Binge Networks and you can find our content there. So it's super awesome because, you know, I ordered a couple of televisions recently. Yeah, all televisions have their internet and their streaming and there's Roku and there's everything else under the sun on almost every television that's sold now. Yeah. So Binge Networks TV is really available. Like you said, it's all kind of programmed into these televisions that go out worldwide. I would imagine 
You know, yeah. there's literally billions or hundreds of millions of internet televisions that are currently being used. And in the future, there's going to be billions of these televisions throughout the world and binge networks TV will be found on all of them, right? That's correct. Yeah, there is billions. That is the correct um, number. We have, for example, one network in China called Kachang Media, which has 150 million subscribers. Whereas if you look at the Apples, the Roku's, um, the Amazon Primes, those are predominantly the top three in the United States and North America. Um, they have about 30 to 40 million subscribers each. So you can see we've really tackled in each country, you know, the largest, the behemoth of the smart TV manufacturers so that our content can be viewable all over the world. Yep. That's great. And of course, when you go to binge networks, I mean, there's great shows, there's yoga shows and workout shows and entrepreneur interviews and interesting sort of technology shows and children's shows. I mean, it's just filled with so much great content. So let's talk about the content creators. Let's say somebody's out there and they're saying to themselves, you know, I've got some great content. I'm producing some great shows, even a music show, maybe, or or, you know, I'm, I'm doing something with plays or something off Broadway or something like that where I'm producing some great content. What does that look like for them to integrate into the Binge Network TV system? Sure. So, I mean, from the integration standpoint, it's crazy, wicked simple. You basically would do the same thing you would do to put a video on Facebook or YouTube. Once you have a channel on Binge, we give you a portal to upload the content. And when you do, our technology syndicates it on 100 platforms. So it's one video upload hundred different platforms. Um, what that, you know, people, the first question, I always go for the why. So people say, well, why wouldn't I just go on YouTube? Well, first of all, YouTube is a social media and it's unvetted. Absolutely anyone in the world can create a YouTube account. So you're competing with billions and billions of other videos, but also we're tackling the smart TV world. So we're, we're reaching a different viewer. That viewer is a lean back viewer. They're watching it generally in their home. They're watching it um, when they have time to you know, sit with their family or to do a yoga class online. So it's a bit of a different, um, it's a bit of a different monster. And we have really created a winning formula in that industry to get content syndicated all over the world. Why that's important to a content creator is, you know, everybody always has these stories of like, oh, my friend made millions on their YouTube channel. Well, when you peel back that onion, it's literally like one in a multi-million people that are making top revenues there. And then also YouTube constantly has control of the algorithm. So once people are making a certain level, they can set it back or they can cancel a channel. They can do all these different things where as when you're controlling your network or your channel, you have the ability to generate revenue on multiple platforms. So you're not beholden to that one that one technology or that one social media. And that's really important because people can make decisions for whatever reason. Roku could shut down. Um, Apple TV could decide, hey, we're not taking that type of content anymore. When you have 99 others behind that, it's a whole different ballgame. Wow. I mean, listen, this is remarkable what you've been able to put together. I mean, you mentioned that you work with Tony Robbins and Harvey McKay and many other sort of gurus, and you become a guru in your own right. So I want to talk about that a little bit. You know, yeah. when we think about sort of streaming media and we talk about, you know, this award-winning platform, Bonnie, that you and your, your very um, nimble team have put together, the thing that comes to mind is the fact that, you know, when you, when you pay your dues and you spend so much time with so many other people that are really at the top of their field, it sort of rubs off on you a little bit. So yes. tell us a little bit about when you wake up in the morning, you know, you mentioned you have, uh, you know, some, some children now and they're sort of probably, you know, uh, part of your why, but yes. what's the why? What is your why with Binge Networks in your life as an entrepreneur as well? Yeah, so to touch on that piece, I mean, really, I have been around greatness my whole career. And so I see that it's possible. So for me to not accomplish something Herculean feels off and wrong. Not everyone has had that experience that I've had, and not everybody has the tools. So I just feel that it's disrespectful <laughs> and also a waste of time because I do know that that's possible. So that's really the first thing. And um and I do. I mean, it's really funny. Uh, we've just had a, a slew of visitors over the last couple months. But my daughter, who's 18 months old, she the second she wakes up in the morning, she stands up and just starts yelling hi. She doesn't have a lot of words in her vocabulary, but she just goes, hi, hi, 
And it's funny because I, you know, it, it cracks you up if you hear it, but that really is my why. It's like, I, now I have to match their energy, you know, I'm not working for Tony anymore, but it's the same high level of intensity. And so it's like, it's on and, and um, you know, we have our systems that we do each morning, because again, I want to teach them and ingrain them in whether it's their theme songs and whatnot, but it's like everything that I do in my life to make what we have created possible, I'm teaching them the same. And that's all, it's all entwined into my passion and my, my mission. I love it. It makes all the sense in the world that resonates so much for me with your 18 year old, uh, 18 month old, you yeah. know, waking up saying hi. It's almost like, let's get ready for the day, mom. Let's right. do this. Let's, let's create and let's do something great for other people. And one thing that's very interesting about you and in, in researching your background and researching where you came from is you put at the forefront of your life, your clients. In other words, the clients always come first. So when we yeah. think about binge networks, TV, and we think about sort of the feedback loop, do you hear things sometimes from your clients that are on the network where you say to yourself, well, wow, that's a great idea. Let's incorporate some of those ideas because you know we're listening to our clients and we always want to have an open ear to what their needs and wants are. All the time. I mean, honestly, we're only where we are because I watch and I listen and I learned that from Harvey McKay. Um, I would say more so than anyone else. Um, but, you know, when we started, we were a television show in New York City and, and that's what I thought we would always be. And then I watched, we had a team of about 20 to 25 young, like 20 something year olds that did production on the show. And I was always watching and I was like, wait a minute, what is that? And they're like, oh, it's Snapchatting, you know, whatever before we went on or the makeup artists and so forth. So then I started to realize that there was power in the social channels and then smart TV became the thing. And we have evolved so many different times um, as a company and the product that we offer. And it's, I would love to take credit. I would love to say it's all my brainchild and my mastermind. I'm the one that executes it, but the majority of our ideas come from input from clients and input from other team members. I love it, Bonnie. Well, listen, I know you've only cut out a certain amount of time. I mean, you're juggling so many things beautifully in the air. Uh, you remind me of the Ed Sullivan show. If I'm, if I'm showing how old I am, I actually remember the Ed Sullivan show when they had a guy that was spinning plates. I don't know if you remember that, but Google it. But, but he could spin all the plates and keep them all going at the same time. And for the younger viewers, Google Ed Sullivan plate spinner, and maybe it'll be on YouTube. But listen, I want to talk about entrepreneurship before we go, because, you know, there, there's so many gems that you have, and I could probably do three, four hours just talking about entrepreneurship with you. But one thing I want to get out of this interview for the younger entrepreneurs watching the show is they're watching the show and they're saying, wow, you know, Andy had Bonnie on the show. She's got this binge networks TV. She's able to do such, such amazing work with this streaming media platform. She has a very small staff that she gets so much out of. They're doing literally as much as people that have, you know, two, 300 employees. Has Bonnie ever hit an obstacle? You know, younger entrepreneurs, they're in their startup phase and they might be saying to themselves, you know, I'm hitting obstacles all the time. I've got potholes and, and I've got, you know, stumbling blocks and I've got walls in front of me and maybe they freeze in the frame because, you know, Bonnie, maybe they've never experienced that before. What type of advice can you give to the younger entrepreneurs watching the show about getting through those tough times and coming out the other end in a more powerful way? Yeah, I mean, if you listen to any other interviews I've done and you can Google, you can find hundreds of them. I talk about our, our beginning story and I talk about being in New York on a run and doubled over just like throwing up because I needed $10,000 by 5 p.m. that day. Um, challenges have been almost a daily part of the business continuously. And as you grow, the challenges grow too. So number one, being okay with that and really realizing it's not, you're not going to get to a plateau ever. That's not entrepreneurism. Entrepreneurialism. That's in my opinion. Um, so just when you get to a point where you understand it, I used to always try to fix things and it's not about that and making all the problems go away. It's what's the solution here. And asking yourself a different question. And sometimes, it's, I mean, we've had some massive, massive problems, but those are always the times in business that push us to break through and take it to the next level. Even recently, we just went through a big metamorphosis, and that's why we started offering the network package to build people's own platforms. I always resisted that because it's, it's an, in essence, competing with yourself, right? You've got a platform, and then you could turn around and do dot-com platform, and then all of a sudden, why wouldn't they go with you if they're 
relevant. And but I realized, you know what, that's the only thing that's going to take us into a multi million dollar revenue yearly. So I'm resisting. But rather, why not embrace it and then, you know, have it a new product offering? And so always looking at that and really, really the question, what's the solution here is the biggest advice that they can give somebody because you're going to have challenges. I love it, Bonnie. And we know as entrepreneurs and the people watching the show that if you don't have these types of big challenges, you're just not pushing hard enough. And yeah. for the younger entrepreneurs watching the show, Rewind what Bonnie says. Look at some of her other videos. You know, you can almost get a mini MBA, Harvard MBA, by listening to, to Bonnie. Because when you're in Harvard, you know, there's the, there's the classroom instruction, there's the professor, there's the case studies, and you go through various scenarios. And, and in those classroom settings, Bonnie, as you know, it's not real life. You don't really have your feet on the ground really doing it. You're kind of in a, in a, in a laboratory. But when we're Building a business with our real feet on the ground, there's always going to be problems. And, and you want those problems. You want those challenges because if you don't have them, it just means you're probably just laying back and not pushing hard enough. So congratulations on what you've been able to do at Binge Networks. I mean, you're an award-winning platform. Your, your leadership is, is really paramount with the team that you've uh, put together. So many successful stories on the Binge Network already that the content's very interesting and very engaging. And so many content creators really can use this platform to get out their shows, get out their message, and also, of course, be remuner remunerated for the phenomenal opportunity of, of receiving revenue through the advertising platform. So it's really, really amazing. Bonnie, this has been remarkable. I'm going to have you on the show, I think, every month so we can talk about entrepreneurship. Great. And, <laughs> and I might just call it, you know, entrepreneurship with Bonnie because you have so much insight over the years of what you've been able to do, both being surrounded by top-notch, world-class people, and then in your own right, becoming that same type of person. So I wanted to congratulate you so much for coming on the show. This has been a true delight. And Bonnie, congratulations on what you're doing at BingeNetworks.tv. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everybody. Bye for now.